This creature that looks like an emoji comes from outer space. Three months ago, he blew a massive hole in the moon and even threatened to blow up the Earth a year from now. However, he thought going straight for it was less fun, so he decided to give Earthlings a chance. He applied to become a teacher in the 3E class with the school principal. If a student can kill him within a year, he will give up the attack on Earth. But killing this guy won't be easy. He can move at speeds of up to 20 Mach, circling the Earth in just one minute. His body can change shape at will and create multiple shadow clones. Even if his tentacles are severed, they can regenerate in just a few seconds. The government has offered a reward, and any student who kills him can graduate early and receive a bounty of 10 billion. The students are all eager to try. The student pretended to ask a question and approached the teacher. Suddenly, he lunged with a concealed dagger, but the teacher easily saw through him. Then, the boy tried to hug the teacher. He had a special bomb hidden under his clothes. With a loud explosion, the boy remained unharmed, but the teacher disappeared. Just when everyone thought the plan had succeeded, the teacher's voice came from the rooftop. Completely unscathed, the teacher was very angry, instantly changing from a red egg to a black egg. No matter how the students attempted to assassinate him, he wouldn't harm them, but they didn't seem to value their lives. The students set traps for the teacher again, but they didn't anticipate the teacher's ability to teleport. After taunting the students, he even doubled their homework as punishment. The red-haired boy tried to exploit the teacher's protective mechanism for students by leaping off a cliff to create an opportunity for assassination. However, the teacher swiftly wove a web with his body, safely catching the boy. The assassination plan failed once again, with no progress in sight for the assassination. It seemed like Earth was in real trouble. The government was in a panic and sent a special transfer student into the class, a robot with four Gatling guns. Unfortunately, the teacher effortlessly evaded the gunfire, not even interrupting the class. Suddenly, there was a loud crash from the ceiling. A white-haired man entered the classroom. He had just arrived but wasted no time in taunting everyone present, calling them all loser. He claimed to be of the same kind as the teacher and declared today he would kill the teacher. Guys. Everyone was astonished because he was the first person to injure the teacher. After a few rounds, the teacher had three of his tentacles severed. His mobility significantly decreased. He seemed to be getting interested, ready for a rematch. When the dude attacked again, all of the teacher's tentacles were unexpectedly melted. Seizing the opportunity, the teacher tossed him out of the arena. In addition to these assassination attempts, the teacher also taught the students in various subjects because exceptional assassins needed knowledge of a wide range of subjects. Surprisingly, from that point on, the E-Class, originally filled with underachievers, switched to a top-performing mode. The teacher, moving at speeds of up to 20 Mach, even formed multiple clones to provide one-on-one -on -one tutoring in various subjects. The girl presented the carefully concocted poison to the teacher, hoping he would drink it. The teacher didn't hesitate and took it without a second thought. However, instead of dying, he transformed and became more cute. Furthermore, the teacher's abilities became even more formidable. He began to spin and leap, soaring into the sky. In just a matter of seconds, he plummeted straight down to the ground, dragging along a long trail. Astonishingly, he had brought back an artificial satellite from space. This feat left everyone completely astonished. The teacher indicated his abilities extended far beyond this display. To eliminate him, one had to combine both learning and assassination skills. In order to encourage everyone to study diligently, he made a promise. If anyone achieved the top grade in a subject on the final exam, they could sever one of his tentacles. The fewer tentacles he had, the weaker his abilities, increasing the chances of a successful assassination. This monster teacher's teaching style is quite thrilling. He takes students with weak English skills on direct flights to the other side of the ocean to experience authentic English. He accompanies history enthusiasts to personally visit the pyramids and has math-loving students calculate the height of the Great Wall on site. The 3E class, originally considered a lost cause by the school, is now producing more and more top students in various subjects thanks to the teacher's unique teaching methods. Following their earlier agreement, the teacher has lost several tentacles. Everyone is actively preparing preparing for the upcoming assassination event. Stocking up on enough firearms and ammunition, they also know about the teacher's fear of water and have prepared a surprising shooting ceremony for him. Surrounded by water and under a hail of gunfire, he surely won't escape this time. Will he?